I recently had some windows replaced, so I wanted to give you some tips on replacing windows and what might be going on with some laws in your town. So I was just going to replace two, but when I put in new windows at my house before, I've used Anderson Renewal and they had two deals going on at the same time that just happened to, one was finishing and one was starting, so it made more sense to buy four. And I wanted to replace two bedroom windows and the laundry room window and the garage window. And then that takes care of all the windows in the house finally. Now the thing is, in bedroom windows, some towns have adopted what are called egress laws. The town I live in had adopted these laws and it was the Anderson salesman who let me know this and Anderson will not break the law. And what happens is it's called egress and in the 90s they adopted the law across the United States for all new construction and it has to do with the size of the bedroom windows. It might even have to do with a basement window but in this case it was the bedroom windows. And Town by town can choose to adopt or not adopt the egress laws for when you're going to replace windows. And the whole idea is if there was a fire and somebody needed to get out, how big does a window need to be? So I didn't know that my town had adopted these laws and I think it was 2011 and I told the guy, in 2010, your company, as they know from town to town which ones are gonna adopt this, you should have gotten a list of every customer who had purchased windows in the past, but not for the entire house, to say if you're gonna replace your windows in your bedrooms now, this is the time to do it. I prefer double hung windows, but with the egress laws, if the size of the windows are not compliant with the egress law, then you can only replace the window with the same kind and the windows in my house were slidey, left and right, so that's what I had to put in my bedroom window, and I was so disappointed. Now, the reason is because um, in the window we're looking at behind me, this is a guest room bedroom window, and I wanted to put in two double hungs because it's a pretty big window. Now, here are the egress laws. So there's a width requirement, a height requirement, and then a square footage requirement. Now the window must open a minimum width of 20 inches, a minimum, minimum height of 24 inches. However, the clear opening must be 5.7 square feet at minimum. So all the windows that I wanted fulfilled the width requirement and the height requirement, but not the square footage. So I had to go with the slidey windows. They're nice windows, I mean, compared to what I had, but they're not what I wanted. So I wanted to double hung. So that's, that's what I got. But I did go with the grills because I did go with the grill um, in, uh, in my family room window. That's a double hung. I went with the grill in the, now in the laundry room and the garage window, I could do double hungs. It was not a big deal. And this window is way too big to do one big window. They don't even make them that big. But I went with Anderson Renewal because in my house, the windows are not standard, number one. And number two, I really like their windows. They're high quality. They um, have their own installers and they do a fantastic job of installing. I had my choice of trim. And um, in the window we're looking at right now, when they were in the middle of taking out the old window, they called me over and they said, you know, you've got ants in here. So I didn't have anything to kill ants, so I had to go to a neighbor who had a couple things and they just sprayed inside the wall to get rid of the ants. So we think there was some dampness coming from outside when the gutter is full and ants just like a damp environment and they like wood. So anyway, they were so great and took care of that. I've had good experiences with Anderson in the past. Um, for my sliding glass door in the family room and the family room window, they were fantastic. Um, the master bedroom window to that, I was able to do double hung because it was before the egress laws. Um, but yeah, I just really appreciate how they put everything in. And in fact, with the family room window later, 
I had some problems closing it. The double hungs are really easy to clean. They pop on the inside and then you clean them, but I was having a hard time as soon as I would bring the lower part down, the upper part would come down. So they ended up replacing both sashes. So yeah, I, they're just fantastic. And I believe the warranty for the windows goes with the house. So like I said, I was able to pick the trim. I have white painted trim in my house, so I just chose a plain wood, which is a poplar, which is great for an interior. Um, in my house, I also have um, uh, proud molding, and that's poplar as well. So that's a really good interior wood for a wood that's going to be painted in the house for trim. So I wanna show you some pictures of the before. In fact, the window in my office, I would normally keep the blind shut, but this time, uh, <laughs> one winter I did, and that, because it's a light diffusing shade, and when I pulled it up one time in the winter, the window was moldy. I mean, the whole window was so bad. It was so good to get all of these replaced. They were all slidey windows. Now the garage window had already been replaced by the former owner, but I wanted it to match all the other windows. <laughs> the outside with the grills, it just looks a lot better. It's great for resale value. Um, now these windows, I don't have storm windows anymore, but all of the Anderson windows I found have been really great in the winter just how they make them. They're not wood and they're not completely vinyl. They're a composite. So they're just fantastic windows for all year. I think no matter where you live in a hot climate and a cold climate, they're just fantastic windows. Um, the whole issue I had was with timing. So I had window treatments that I did not want to take down myself in the two bedrooms besides um, valence type window treatments i also have inside a hunter douglas shade and i didn't want to have to call the hunter douglas guy and so i found a guy i found him again he was through my sister-in-law 12 years ago he put up some other window treatments so i booked him for two dates so he came out on a thursday i was actually able to to schedule anderson for a saturday they were here all day doing all four windows trim everything and took all the old windows with them to dispose of everything was cleaned up they sent two men it was great so that was a saturday then the following week i had my handyman come and paint them yeah i could have done it myself but i knew he'd do a much better job and while he was here waiting for the paint to dry he cleaned out my gutters <laughs> and then put on the second coat so he also primed them and then i had my own white color in a benjamin moore semi-gloss that he did and then about a week later brad came back and put all the window treatments back up perfectly um, again that was my biggest concern that it wouldn't be done properly so um, i probably will edit this video showing you some before and after pictures so the befores are pretty bad um, took the window treatments down took a few more pictures and then after the new windows were in, I took some pictures with the trim before it was painted, just so you could see what the windows look like right after they're installed, before the trim is painted. Now, um, the guys who put the windows in said, sometimes they'll go back to a home, like a month later, maybe somebody needs something tweaked on a window, and they still, more, he said even six months later, and they still haven't had the trim painted. So you need to, if you choose the type of window treatment that has trim that needs to be painted instead of stained, and they have several stained options and several styles of wood cut, but if you choose the painted kind, you need to get it painted within a couple weeks of having the windows installed because that wood is not treated, it's not meant to be bare, all right? And then I have a few pictures of the windows after the treatments are back up. I thought I'd get this shot of me today showing you, um, hopefully the lighting looks pretty good. I've been playing with that with my own lights and I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions about the whole process 
of choosing windows and working with a company like Anderson and you know putting it all together let me know put a comment in the comment box below and check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen or click the little eye in the upper corner the upper right corner it even works on mobile thanks bye